morning to try and write the philosophy essay. And I had four hours in which to write the essay before it got handed in. I made oh, quite good progress, I thought. Um, but then I stopped for coffee with friends. Oh, wait, that's Then I went to Bruin for lunch. And then I met my friend Clara for coffee. And then I met my friend Rachel for coffee. And now I'm back at Bridges. I suppose I spend quite a lot of my days doing coffee with friends. It does get tiring after a while, though. I know I've only got four more weeks left of term, and I feel like I'm all coffeeed out. I'm studying psychology here. I'm fourth year. Uh huh. Um, busy girl. It is 25 to 11 on Friday night. I have been studying since half nine this morning, non-stop, so I'm a bit tired. Push me back. Lexi, you're true St. Andrews. Right, let's go to the bar. Um, I'm taking you to the most exciting place in the world 3,000 years ago. The cathedral. <laughs> In Scotland. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hold your breath and give a round of applause for Market Street, the one of only three streets in St. Andrews. Can you do shopping in St. Andrews? No, <laughs> there's nothing here. There's like a lecture theatre going down there, which is like you can, but you don't need to know about that. Dun dun dun! The Student Union building. Isn't it beautiful? It's so nice. I love the 60s. Get a drink, of course. Because <laughs> you have to have one of it. Oh, In my life, the next couple of weeks, well, the next couple of weeks, the run down to the fashion show, which uh, is going to be very hectic indeed. How's it going? I'm the first fitting of the models. All the collections arrived today. Hang on. <laughs> We've got. A number of really cool designs from London. I went to the fashion week and minced around there for a while. It was great fun. <laughs> I'd be like Tina Turner. <laughs> you could say I'm sitting here looking at ten girls dressing up, but you got, I don't think about it like that. You've got to think professionally how it's going to look, how the lighting's going to affect the clothing. It may seem fishy, but I assure you. Although well, I know a number of people who probably like to be here. And aren't yeah, allowed. Yeah, that's what she's yeah. the yeah. Hard, yeah. green ruffles. And underwear in general, as to whether or not they can wear it. What's your view? It depends. The biggest piece of work that I've had to do at university is due in a couple of weeks' time. I'm borderline first which is exciting and annoying in equal measures um, because I would love to get a first. Uh, it's become a mad rush um, and it's very last minute and I don't really know what I'm... don't feel like I've got it under control at all and that's not a nice feeling. My project is on stress. I, think I didn't think they were going to do this. You have black, your face, like... Yeah, I can't, I can't, like, stretch, but I stretch. Yeah. <laughs> like that. See, I was really happy that it's not quite curvy, isn't it? Very, very I'm very curvy. happy that they're afraid to do this. It's yeah. going to drive the guys wild. I can't believe we're going to do this. I was saying, yeah, yeah. to get the gestures yeah. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, slightly higher over as well. Are we wearing shoes? No, 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 our taste. It's handmade by a tailor's outside uh, Rome called Scuderi. I was quite impressed, but vastly cheaper than it should have been. 
which is always nice. We've kind of got the tastes of uh, you know, young professionals, but we're at university and therefore trying to live on student budget. I have a hundred pound phone bill and my flatmates, who I'm not really on speaking terms with at the moment, asked me for a cheque yesterday and I don't have any money. It is tonight, dear. Ah? <laughs> I like playing with Shay for uh, friends. And uh, I like raising money for charity. I was a bit pissed off today, just so I have something very particular. Uh, it was, uh, models blame the lights, so I blame the models. I have to make an appointment to go and see someone at the university um, to give me money. And to be honest, I'm quite hopeful. They've done it before, they've got to do it again. Right, I'll have to go. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just struck. What the fuck? They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just struck. What the fuck? Away, baby. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just know what is what, but they don't know what is what. They just know what they know, but they don't know what is what. They just struck. What the fuck? I'm not quite sure what I'm going to say, and I'm not sure if she's going to give me any money, but if she doesn't, I'm in big trouble. Good news! <laughs> She's given me three hundred pounds. I mean, it's not enough to go crazy, but I still have to be really careful with money. But you know, so I should. You know, when one big Thursday goes, the second another one goes around. It goes around bigger. Rachel, cash, cash, Rachel. Okay. I don't care if my son is missing, so get off your ass, do your job, and send someone down now. Big Thursday, this Thursday from 9, only on E4. <laughs> ah, freedom to do whatever you want. But what's this? Unreliable connections? Painfully slow getting online? Keep breaking down? Then you want to be with FreeServe because we've doubled our network capacity so you can enjoy the freedom of a more reliable internet connection. And all for a groovy $12.99 a month. For a free trial, call 0800 970 8890 or visit FreeServe.com. The Army has over 1,400 career paths open to school, college, and university leaders. Vehicle mechanic is just one of them. If you've got what it takes, take it further. Call 0845 600 1490 and ask for a free Army career video. I'll just be a sec. 
give in to the KFC Twister. I don't think so, buddy. Mm. When you want to get it clean first time, try Ariel's first known bio. It has a unique pure clean system that loves really nasty stains, and it's dermatologically tested. We've done ever so well this week. No. We must be strong. Greasy stains, new Ariel known bio. That's another load off your mind. I thought it might be nice, in order to get to know me a little better, to uh, interview myself. How the devil are you? Question one. I'm fine. I'm slightly tired. Quite hungry, but fine. Do not sleep. Pick five words to describe yourself. Funny. Hey, hey, hey! Silly. <laughs> Overly sensitive. Turn the camera off, Dave. Can I use a hyphen there and that kind of as one? Turn, the, turn that funny thing off! Turn it off! Brilliant. And... Modest. Oh. You are exceptionally good looking people. You're exceptionally good. <laughs> Keep saying that to yourself. Right, okay. Um, it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, the afternoon of the very last performance of Greece. Okay, you guys, tell me about Greece. Are you glad it's over? No, not at all. It's world class. World class? World class. Like world, 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 world class. Oh, okay. Actually, Actually, yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, we forgot to mess up again. One more time from the Jesse Hand bit, okay? It'll be a beautiful thing. And we've been running for uh, five nights so far in the Students' Union. It's all gone really well. <laughs> There's going to be 450 old people. Uh, gathering together to watch the show, including, I have to say, my own mum and dad. So it better be a good one. Really stretch your arms. No switch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready to do that bad yeah. boy. Right, sure. Right. <laughs> Hey, it's not a big deal, but <laughs> I feel like my sister keeps on telling me, she's like, I feel like I'm going to your wedding, Annie. <laughs> I'm like, I know. There is someone fairly eligible coming along next year. Um, well, I mean, I'm not one to rob the cradle usually, but... <laughs> <laughs> I could make an exception. <laughs> my mom and my aunt are already buying their hats for um, Westminster Abbey, <laughs> preparing for the prince. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Princess Annabelle. <laughs> Just play it cool, be a friend, see what happens. <laughs> Okay, great. So we'll see. Gotta see how the night turns out. Could be some scandals. Could be some gossip. <laughs> it's a shame, Rennie, that most of the men in St. Andrews are such prats. I mean, half of them are gay anyway. And those that aren't gay, really ugly. I don't know what to do. Women. Let's stop calling them girls. Let's give uh, credit where it's due. Women. You didn't look at me like that. Nicole, you have those puppy dog eyes. Some relationships in Sandwich I've handled better than others. There is one girl to this day who walks across the road to avoid me. If you don't want to sleep with me, blink. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise for any hurt I've caused her. Although I think... Uh, Walking on the other side of the road just to avoid having to walk past me is slightly excessive. Right, great. Uh, I'll see you in five minutes. Got the hair. 
You've got the attitude. Let's rock Zuko style. I got this, there was a blanket, and I blew the deep so, the <clears throat> It's about five o'clock in the morning, and we've just had the cast party uh, after the show. Good morning. <clears throat> It was a very eventful night, I have to say. Had a wee drink. Had a wee kiss with one of, one of my co-stars. Lots of gossip. Oh, my God, lots of gossip. Uh, Who will remain anonymous for the time being. No, no, I, I was consumed. Uh. Oh. Good end to a good show. Uh, ever, ever drinking again, actually. Hello. Long time no see. <clears throat> I feel the point is that being a student is not... It's not all fun and games all the time for everyone. And I'm running away. I'm actually running away. It's Friday tomorrow. And um, I'm going to go... Um, to London to see Matthew. You're on my street. Matthew says I'm his sweetheart. He says that I, he loves me. I can't wait to live with you. And then he can't wait to live with me and we'll be living here, not in St Andrews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera, this is Matthew. <laughs> and... And... Um... I kind of go out with them. <clears throat> Matthew was like the resident DJ in St Andrews for like ages. And when I first, um, the first time I saw Matthew was DJing, and I thought he was, he looked horrid. He looked, <laughs> he looked like an arrogant, <laughs> arrogant duck up. Well, well, oh, you, uh, when... you, you can be wrong. Not saying the word. <laughs> Matthew? Yes. Yes. Right. Um, I seem to remember telling you when I was, hmm, shall we say, drunk, inebriated, the other night after the cast party, that I kissed a fellow member of the Grease cast. And uh, I've drawn it out quite long enough, I think. So... Uh, I can reveal that uh, the grand question was, in fact, uh, Faye. Revelations. I have phoned her a couple of times. I played it cool. Uh, they say, leave it two days, so I left it four days. It's going very well. Well, I say it's going very well. I haven't seen him since then. <laughs> but we spoke to them soon, and that was very nice. She's a really nice girl. Uh, good chat. Very pretty. Not too bad on the old looks of either. Oof. So we'll see what happens. Watch this space. We'll see what happens there. He's having a party at his house on Saturday night, and I've invited. Party night. I've got to have a shower. A shave, get changed, tidy up this flat, and then um, lock away my valuables. <laughs> I have a lot of faith in human nature. But <laughs> sometimes, you know, people get carried away. <laughs> and, they, and they nick things, and they break things, and they vomit in your chest of drawers, and uh, they try and have sex in your bedroom, and you're not looking, and I just, I'm not up for that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Better be on the safe side. Better to be safe. Then sorry. Party on. <laughs> well, man, it was a party. Stop being beautiful! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
as kind of like normal things for St Andrews and things that um, kind of Black Tie do uh, for 21st, which after a little while can get a little bit repetitive, but uh, it's good fun. <laughs> Alex would like to say, and I, good luck in history of art degree, but Alex would like to say, hands off Will, he's mine. <laughs> <laughs> for the yards and for the guys who are like socially inept, we all go to like bridges and brooms, have a few gin and tonics, we laugh about it. Yeah. The best part is a house party. If you come to the lounge, just come to house party. <laughs> I believe Faye might be coming along later. Are you talking to me? Well, if she comes, she comes, and she doesn't, she doesn't. I don't really. I've done time off the callous, doesn't it? Camera off. I intend. What is it? Very, 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 very. On the subject of Faye, and she's a lovely girl. Um, but I haven't, I haven't really been in contact with her this week. Three weeks to go, I don't want to spend all my time with any one person, so I won't. Chances are she doesn't want to go out with me either, and I'm coming across as a complete arrogant cock. Where are we off to? We're going to a debate at the moment in the lower parliament hall on South Street. It's going to be um, interesting, sometimes a little boring. Um, it should be really good. There's some good speakers at the moment. What's the nation? Um, international um, criminal court. Right. Whether it's a good idea or not. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it should be okay. I think it should be all right. No, honestly. <laughs> Welcome to the big James. Some of us tongue in cheek, but a lot of it's very serious. I'm, um, my name's Alan, Alan Patterson. I'm third year at St Andrews University. I'm studying um, philosophy or modern history. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the University of St Andrews Union Debating Society. Yeah. 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 The oldest and indeed the finest of its kind in the world. Yeah. So Brighthead revisited the series on TV. It had the kind of the Oxford public school thing. You had the, the dining club circuit. It had the uh, the all male societies. And I, I fell in love with that. And St Andrews has that. settled into the whole uh, British pompous thing very, very easily. Um, she might be slightly worrying. Don't know. It is my bitter sweet uh, uh, joy this evening <laughs> announced that there has, there has been an election. Hey! I've just started as a debating society convener as president of the debating society. I, Alan David William Patterson, swear by almighty God that I will uphold and protect the ancient and undoubted rights of this house. Namely, liberty of speech. Shame! To be head of that is wonderful, because it is seen by many, well, probably by 500, say, as the centre of, of St Andrews, in a way. It sort of encapsulates what St Andrews is. Second thought. <laughs> Huh, class dynamics. I, well, this is a great myth in St Andrews that there's a lot of yah. Rather than saying yes, they tend to say yah, oh, yah, yah, yah. Now, I would probably be classified as a yah. Um, I don't know why. You walk past Grief of Lake or he'll hear you on the phone or something and say yah, yah, yah. But I mean, you just take it on the chin now, there's no point going stroppy about it. Huh? Unemployment on your camera? <laughs> what, what, what do you reckon? <laughs> I am really good friends with people that won't go to certain pubs in St Andrews because it's a it's a your hangout. It's ten past ten, long night ahead, a lot of drinking been done beforehand. They're student bars, but they're populated by 
you know, the sort of sector of St. Andrews that has a lot of money and they feel so intimidated by that that they won't go in. What public school does give you is a sense of confidence. I think that's the, that's the greatest tool it gives you for the outside world. So we do this? Coming to you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Students are repeated to be poor. And you expect that when you come to St Andrews. And I'm, I've met by far the richest, some of the richest kids in the country. Whether we like it or not, there is a car system in operation. Yo, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> good. She's all in colour, so Some people put on a face. Um, because they're social climbing. I hate that expression. I hate the expression of social climbing. Oh, anyway, anyway. It's not actually her son. It's his son. Oh, my God. A lot of social climbing does go on here. A lot. Oh, my God. I don't think everyone's special, but there are lots of quite special people here who have opportunities that a lot of other people don't. So, you know, people like to make friends with those people because they can share in those opportunities. <laughs> Jake. No, I don't have your keys. Party! Oh, Party. wicked! Wow. I pride myself on the fact my friends are completely useless to me. I don't want them for a job prospect. I want them for their friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and do you feel like people class you as being posh or upper class? And, I mean, how do you feel about that? Um, well, yeah, to an extent they do. And they've got every right to because, um, well, I do have to, I do have an incredibly English accent and, um, you know, there's not a lot I can do about that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm proud of who I am and where I come from. Um, and I wouldn't be a genuine person if I were to change. Em's um, been a really good friend for me and it just shows you that we didn't just naturally attract each other. It took us like five, four, four, five months to actually realise that we had a lot of that we had so much in common and we could be really good friends and that's what's really funny is that we hung around with like completely different people and then we like found each other and was like, Hi, you're my new best friend or <laughs> something. It was really funny. I thought it was 4.15 at 7.15 and I'm bloody late for Stratford Club dinner. This evening I was going to go to the Stratford Dining Club. Because of this injury, I definitely can't go now. Stratford Club? <laughs> it's a rather pretentious <laughs> monarchist dining society. But the monarchy a great figurehead for the nation. Um, I think they've already got their act together, actually, since Diana's death. It was the Queen's birthday yesterday, so the Stratford Club always, around this time, has a, 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 a sort of celebration dinner for her. Yeah, I imagine William probably will have been invited. Um, well, yeah, I suppose he has to be invited, as a future monarch. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of being a member of the Stratford Club. I'm not ashamed of being pro-monarchy. I'm not ashamed of the fact that I'm in a, an all-male club. I'm not ashamed of uh, anything the Stratford Club does, because it's completely harmless. It's quite nice to have a few bastions of you know, maledom still left. Sorry, that sounded really shameless, but... <laughs> Could you have ladies' nights? Let them, let them in. <laughs> With my idea of doing a women's club, I'm going to continue with it. I've decided I've debated long enough. Okay. I really feel like you're the team of Bailey. That's the new thing. Coco Park Bailey. They are heavenly, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble with starting out a girl club is the fact that people are all going to see it as anti-KK, rival KK, just trying to be like the other men's clubs. And you don't want to also appear as a really pretentious club who are oh, no. we're women and you know we support women and we support everything that women okay. do. Feminist, exactly. Start. You don't want really definitely really 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 I know, I know this general. kind of kills our whole original idea, but does it have to be just a women's club? Yeah. Why don't we have some members, yeah. some we boys as members? Honorary members. Yeah, like KK. boys from the yeah. KK.
organised by the Kate Kennedy Club, and they're an all-male club, and um, I think it's wonderful. I think why not have all-male clubs and all-female clubs? Um, I don't see why in this day and age it should have to be sort of mixed all the way. <laughs> they think they're exclusive, well, they're obviously exclusive, but to be honest, anyone who's anyone is not in the Kate Kennedy Club. I think it's the KK procession today, about two o'clock. Got some friends coming over to work together because that kind of makes it a little less horrible. The KK organised some of the best events in St Andrews, but I think that's such a shame. I have a problem with like some sort of elitist, arist aristocratic, public schoolboy network operating and being accepted. Because not the least is, there are people from comprehensive school, they have people from all different backgrounds. I don't see why people are so against it. They're really strongly against it. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, that's really bad. That's really bad. I just, I just thought really? I hadn't seen that. Like, I just don't see you. I know. Do you not, do you not think there's a problem with having a club that says you can't I'm join because you are a girl? I don't care. Really don't care. That's like what that's about, that's would you care? Would you care if there was a club that says you can't join because you're black? You can't join because you're <laughs> fat. You can't join because you're ugly. You can't join because you don't have any money. Would you have a problem with any of that? Because that at bottom is the problem. See, lots of people, they're quite narrow-minded, and they're not willing to, like, think of things laterally. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, the, KK, the members of the KK are really dull. Um, public school boys um, that I haven't got a clue about real life. Um, they're not interesting to talk to. And um, they are just a bunch of pretentious, arrogant twats. There must be a slight bit of envy, a slight yeah. bit of... I think that's it. You know what? I think the basis of, like, you know, the reason why people are against KK is because they feel like they're missing out. They haven't been chosen. They do feel they're envious. They are jealous. And that's what I truly think. I want people to know what it's like being a student in St Andrews. And basically, like, you have to deal with all this crap. You have to <laughs> deal with a bunch of, like, you know, arrogant rich kids that think they own the place. Hey, we will defeat the English, will we not, sir? Yes, we will. Our fans can recruit. Madam, I will see you on the battlefield. And I will throw you my lance, madam. With the proper bank, you can do it in fast and fashion. A first day each year has chosen to play Kate Kennedy. It's quite an honour in some ways. I'm going to put my money on Alex Walsh. But I'd risk his Audi on it, but I wouldn't risk any of my money. I'd risk his money, but not mine. It's like a mini Kate, this one. It's done very, very well. Indeed. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> what a day. I feel very proud indeed, yes. It was good. I think the club has uh, made a very wise decision. It's kind of difficult to explain why it's such an honour. And what it's all about, because you say, oh, well, it's this kind of walking through the street playing old characters in St. Andrews, and, mm -hmm. and it, if you're Kate Kennedy, that's really great, and you dress up as a woman, and they're like, right, okay. Oh, thank you, Henry. <laughs> Okay, I want all Alex's money. <laughs> I want his Audi. I just bet the whole of his inheritance on it. It's mine now. It's mine. <laughs> That's fabulous. It was Alex. Oh, 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 oh my god. <gasps> Here they come. Here's the bagpipes. Yay. What does it say about a town that this is the like highlight of the year? Watching a bunch of students in fancy dress. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think the prince will join, to be honest. It's far too controversial. He's a really nice guy. Hey, what are you doing? Yay! Who's that loud mouth on the horse? I'm fighting for Scotland's freedom. We can do it together.
That was wicked. Oh my god. Oh, we've got to go. Where, where do we go now? I reckon we should go Coffee. somewhere. I don't know. Something. Something stronger. <laughs> <laughs> About six weeks to the end of term. But um, I want to go home now. I really miss my mum and everyone. I think kind of far away from home. I want to go. It's kind of cold up here at the moment. I haven't, still haven't done my Russian essay. In fact, it's kind of June really soon, I haven't started it. And, um, that's worrying. I have a project, three essays, and a dissertation to hand in in two weeks' time, and that actually makes me feel sick. Uh, we've got less than 12 hours to whack like this uh, bitch of an essay. I uh, haven't actually started it yet, which is encouraging. Two and a half thousand words. It can be done. Well, it actually has to be done. There's no choice. It's going to be a late one, a very late one. So uh, let's stop the chat and get down to business. Let's hope the muse is fluttering around tonight, because by God, I need her. <laughs> Trying to balance, which was quite bizarre after three years. Huh? Something warming. The library's normally my place to work, but at home as well, too many distractions. I'm going back to the library now. I'll probably stay there till about 11, working away, and then have something to eat and go to sleep. <laughs> Open the bubbly and halfway. Brilliant. Stunning. Halfway. I'm the first person in my family to like go to university. I was at home just before my exams, the last set of exams, and my dad, who's who's hilarious. My dad was sat there and he was like, Lindsay, you know, where, where do you think we're going to put your graduation photo? Do you know? right? And I was like, oh, Dad, don't talk about that. I don't know, it'll look crap anyway. And he was like, Lindsay, that's going to be the proudest day of my life, you know. I was just like, actually, like it took my breath away. Since then, I've worked harder than I ever have before. This is a little song appropriate to the uh, occasion and circumstances. I'm so tired I haven't slept a wink I'm so tired My mind is on the blink I wonder should I get up and fix myself a drink Oh I'm just tired. Last night was really good. It was probably one of my best nights ever. I pretty much just had like one of the worst nights of my life. I went out with two of my friends, two of my girlfriends. I wish I was lying, but I've been working now for 22 hours without a break. Um, and I know that sounds unbelievable. I can hardly believe it myself. <laughs> We're not spending that like £80 on alcohol. Um, we weren't actually that drunk. Taking painkillers, Pro Plus and um, Red Bull has meant I've been sick through the night. I've had awful pains in my stomach. Um, kind of. Um, It's just been a really unpleasant night. Somewhere along the evening, about midnight is, someone had the idea that it would be really fun to go down to the beach. So we went down to the beach. <laughs> a long story short, we ended up 
skinny jeans. <laughs> I mean, when we got out, we were running up the beach. And um, bear in mind, it's like about one o'clock in the morning by the stage. And we couldn't find our clothes. And I feel very, very bad. <laughs> My head hurts. And I think I've got pneumonia. <sighs> Daylight outside. It's Friday. And I've just finished my last ever essay. If it wasn't so early, I'd screen the house down. But given my present state and the fact that my flatmates are all in bed, you'll just have to settle for a cheeky thumbs up. <laughs> I'm having a toilet. Unfortunately, it's not so much revision I have to do this week as uh, vision. But people just get nuts for exams. Here. Staying in the library from 9 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. It's a dead next way for Mum, look, I will go to the library soon, OK? I've had my nose between books, you know, long enough. It's Monday, great exam on Wednesday. And I will be studying, so don't worry. Should be okay. We've got about 36 hours left to do some work for it. I spent some on fixing my ass. Well, you know, we thought we could stay home and revise because, you know, that's the aim and everything. And then we thought... No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not staying papers. There's no way I'm staying in and revising for exams. Going back to the library. Um, we've just realised that Annabelle didn't get home until seven o'clock this morning. That's it is okay. now shut up, Annabelle. Hey. It is now ten twenty. It's, it's overcast. It's overcast. What's that got to do with what time you got in last night? Well, it has to do with the fact that I'm not getting up now. It doesn't have to do with anything about me coming home late. So we have the exam. Three now. days. Do Give me a day. <laughs> I'll study for the day before. It's fine. Okay. It's game on. Don't worry. Um, so we've got more philosophy. Nervous? Me? A little nervous. If I don't get an 11, then I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm not really that nervous about the exam, I have to say. I'm quite relaxed. Quite relaxed. Not really. A bit sick, a bit tired, um, but it's looking forward to coming out and being finished. I've got an ickle butterfly. Little ickle butterflies in my stomach. Nearly finished! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yes! I thought it was ridiculously easy. I'm finished, thank goodness. Now we're going to the pub. And hey, where are we going up to St. Andrews in August to reset them? But you know, I have St. Andrews with my small gift. So. She's had four years of university and she's finished. And we're going to drown her, as you do. <laughs> Yeah, way to go, mate. 
Mike. Hello, Dad. Yeah. I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Are the results there? My results have stopped through the post, and um, I'm just kind of preparing myself to open them. Oh, they're probably my results. They are, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Logically, I don't, my brain says, no, you're not going to get a first. But it's like, it's like when you put money on the lottery um, and, you know, you don't actually, logically, mathematically, you're probably not going to win, but you can't help hoping that, that, you'll, that you will. Two on do. There it is, right there, Mikey, right there. Um, yeah, so now I just have to will myself to open it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's my result. I honestly didn't know I'd be upset until um, I opened my results and then suddenly, you know, I just, just sort of sank. I graduate this afternoon, so I've been up and getting ready and getting organised all morning. Hello! Hello. Where is she? Hello. <laughs> Haven't been as upbeat as I'd like to have been. Um, and it's been really hard because I've been trying to sort of be all jovial for everyone, but really inside I am gutted, if I'm honest. <laughs> so, how are you feeling? At <laughs> uh, this moment, <laughs> on cloud nine. I'm going to cry. <laughs> we did it! You want to do it again? Good though, isn't start. it? I think it's a start. It's a start. It's a start in it's life. Uh -huh. We've put on to a, like an equal footing with other people. Yeah. And I think that's about the rest of Dr. Lindsay. Oh, dear. <laughs> William, one piece of advice. Don't study psychology. Okay, William. Pearl of wisdom from Lexi. Go to Friday night box. I guarantee you'll meet your future wife there. Don't have sex on the box, you'll get arrested. Never walk into the back of a park car because I did that once and it was so embarrassing. Head to Bridges or Bridges is dead, uh, where you can buy me a gin tonic. And don't join the KK. That's it. The end. The end.